Okay, today is Sunday, 11 February 2024. I'm Tannis Leonardi, and this is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I'm doing a different approach for my coverage of the 2024 World Aquatics Championships today in Doha, Qatar. Thus far in the championships, I've done kind of follow person all the way through um, an event. And then I think I've maxed out at like two. No, yes, two athletics performance contextualizations. No, there was three for the springboard, three meter springboard. Yeah. Okay, but they weren't all the same phase of competition. So I have not done three athletic performance contextualizations for one phase of competition in one event. So that's, uh, and I'm not gonna do that today either. Actually, no, so this, I think I have done before. I've done this three meter springboard. I'll double check that as I talk through it. But I'm gonna do, so the approach is, uh, um, I chose three people in one event because there's a bunch of stuff going on in pool swimming. So I was like, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to choose three people from one event and talk about them in a certain order that I've decided based on the colors of the flags. Um, so treating black and white is neutral. Germany goes first because it's red in a, like an orangey yellow. And then Belgium goes second because it's red and yellow. And then Romania goes third because it's red, yellow, and blue. So blue is like the furthest in the rainbow and orange is the highest. So that's the progression. But then I'm not allowed to film the video until they're, they've reached their highest level of competition in the event. <laughs> so, and that affects all of the videos if there's a video after that where the person finished earlier in the competition. So I'm letting my filming time be a... dependent on their results instead of just being like I'm just gonna do this right now so it's a little bit of a different filming day Let's see. yes so this is not the first time I've done three athletics performance contextualizations for one event in one day I did three for the three meter springboard um however it is three for three different people so like one each one is for a different person in the same event but not the first four, three in one event. So, distinction there. And so the first person up is my Germany. This is someone whose new English Wikipedia article I created, um, sometimes called new page with my username, user Tannis Corley Leonardi. This one actually goes back to like, what was it, 2021? This is Sven Schwartz of Germany in the 400 meter freestyle. A uh, time of 3 minutes and 47.82 seconds from today, 11 February 2024. So he placed 16th in the semifinals, and this is an event being contested with, um, not semifinals, sorry, preliminaries. This is a event being contested without semifinals. Got ahead of myself there. So he placed, and then the top eight, and somebody yells that somebody in the top eight, or somebody's, you know, pull out kind of thing. Um, go on to the final and one of the people i'm covering goes on to the final so i provide my tech my take slash perspective on his performance and contextualize it in terms of him competing at his first senior world championships and what the number 16 means to me yes so and specifically senior world aquatics championships we'll do that we'll be more specific um so this is his first long course he was, um, he's really good at short course. So this is, it's fun to see him doing really well in long course. And when his name was here, I was like, oh, it's his first time. So that was very exciting. And then and it was an, it was an excellent time, especially for a preliminary for him. And then the number 16. So that was when I was 16, my sweet 16, um, culturally, like my sister and I celebrated it and it was a birthday I celebrated with a few of my friends and a swim coach and we swam across Lake Washington, open water swim. Um, so it was kind of relevant for swimming. I mean, especially a guy who does, he's more of a distance in the pool freestyler, but that translates pretty well to being able to swim just a simple distance or not a simple distance. It wasn't a simple distance, but it was like, you know, to swimming a distance in water um having being able to swim distance is a confidence builder even if it's in a pool with walls yeah 
And so, this is a brief one. Uh, was, I'm happy that he made it to his first oh, senior World Aquatics Championships. So, there we go. That is my take on the Sven Schwartz 400 meter freestyle time of 3 minutes and 47.80 seconds from 11 February 2020.